Hello everybody and welcome to this new Good Barber video. My name is Elena and today we are going to discover together how to get started on Good Barber and how to start creating your unique and beautiful app without having any technical skills. First thing, we go on Good Barber's website on goodbarber.com and we land on the home page of Good Barber. Just for your information, going on the footer of, of the website, it's also possible to switch language from English to French, Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, German or Dutch. These are the languages in which our website is now available. We go back to the top and we select the menu and we go on solutions. On solutions, we are going to find a list of the possible kinds of apps that can be created by using Good Barber. In this case, I decided to browse all solutions just to have a look. As you can see, here you have all categories. You can create an e-commerce, a restaurant app, you can create a pickup and delivery app, and you will see also the main features that are connected to the kind of app you're gonna select. Today, we're gonna create an e-commerce app. This is why I'm gonna click here to test for free. And here we go with uh, our email address and our password. I accept, next. Now it's time to choose the name of the app and also the category of the app I want to create. We want to create an e-commerce. This is why we are gonna select e-commerce. And here I'm gonna put the name of the app. Let's say that we want to create an e-commerce app uh, for fashion and it's gonna be uh, with my name, Elena Fashion let's say. So this is going to be the name of the app. E-commerce is the category. Let's create the app. And here magical stuff are happening. So my app is basically ready. And here we go in the back office of Good Papa. So this is of course a pre-made demo app which has been created and it's really helpful for me to understand how my app could look like and also of course to customize it. Uh, later on in fact I'm gonna customize it in terms of design, content, sections etc. We're gonna see it together. But first of all I want to show you two main sections which are gonna be absolutely important at the beginning of your journey with Good Barber. They're going to help you to better understand how the back office works. The first is the dashboard. So in the dashboard, we do have an overview uh, of our app. Here is, for example, the uh, publication status of our app as a progressive web app or uh, on Google Play and App Store. Of course, we just started, so uh, we don't see any difference. But once you start publishing your app, here you will see uh, all, the, all the updates. Here below you have some resources, but what is really interesting is once your app is published and you start having traffic on your app, here in the middle, you will see all the stats, all the activity of your app. Of course, I want to show you that. So let's take an app which is already active, like this one, which has been already published as a progressive web app. It's published on both Android and iOS. And um, here we can see the activity, the activity of the last 30 days. We have the sales, the average card, paid orders, and we have many other details on the performance of our app. And of course, if we click on the view activity statistics, we are going to also have uh, a better insight. So this was just an idea of how it could look like. Let's go back to our app. I want to show you the second thing, which is going to be absolutely useful when you get started, which is indeed our get started menu. Here it is. Here, step by step, you can follow the lines of this Get Started and this is going to help you to build your app step by step. So, for example, here we have the catalog, uh, we have the home page, we have uh, the visual identity, so the design of your app. And by clicking on each section, you can have a short video and also a description of what you need to do in order to uh, customize your app. By clicking on next, we can see all the different steps and it's absolutely useful uh, when, you, when you get started. 
So now we know that by following each step of the Get Started uh, menu, it's going to be way easier to customize our app and to make good use of the menu here on the left. But by the way, let's change something together. Let's change, for example, something in the content and design. And let's go in the sections. And let's say that I want to change to switch the order of the sales and this collection. And it's, it's really easy. It's a drag drop system. So I can simply click on sales and uh, drag it just below collections. And as you can see, the changes are done in real time also on my app. And uh, this is amazing because you can really see all your changes in real time. And another important mode you can use if you want to see how your app looks like is to go in the preview. And here I can see how my app looks like uh, on a smartphone, on tablet and on web. And of course, I can also navigate my app. So I can click, I can go on sales. And here I can find all the sections that are already there just because uh, this is the pre-made e-commerce. So let's go back now on our app and let's change something else. Of course, I can add new sections. I can remove them. I can change whatever I want. Let's change, for example, the way my menu looks like. Now I have the swipe navigation mode, which is uh, with icons and the full name of each section. But let's say I don't want the full name and I want a little swipe. So I can click on that and uh, I can change, of course, also uh, the icon. I can change the color. I can change everything I want. I go back and as you can see also here, the changes are already there. I already changed the look of my app and I can go back whenever I want. Let's make also another change. Let's change the colors. Let's go in the theme library. As you can see, there are plenty of uh, different themes you can, uh, you can choose. Uh, let's say I want something very, very modern and let's go with the urban shango. I can, of course, see a live preview uh, before applying the theme or I can directly apply the theme. Let's say I want to directly apply the theme and in a few seconds, my app is completely different. Now, probably it matches more my brand, my colors, and I can customize everything in the details. So as you can see, it's absolutely intuitive and it's really easy and fast. And uh, it's, it's, it's really amazing if you don't have any technical skills and you need to create your own app. So now that we discovered a bit how to change the design of our app, I want to show you another very important part of our back office, which is the extension store. The extension store is a library uh, where all the features that you can add to your app are collected. So uh, in order to make it easier, let's go here and let's filter all our extensions and let's go on e-commerce. Since we are creating an e-commerce app, here we will find all the features, built-in features and connect us to external tools that can be added among your sections. So they are basically services you are adding to your app. For example, for an e-commerce, let's see some of them. You can, for example, add a blog. Uh, maybe on your app, you don't just want to sell products, but you also want to show your expertise. So you may think of having a blog section where you can uh, publish articles, for example, on fashion, since we are creating an e-commerce for, for fashion. Or maybe I want to add some new uh, services, for example, Talk2, which is the possibility of adding a live chat uh, for a customer uh, support. Or maybe you want to add some uh, new uh, payment methods or having a better analytics, a better analysis of your uh, stats. So you can filter by collection, so according to the kind of app you are creating, or according to categories, for example, essentials or content or uh, sales optimization, etc. So it's really easy. And you can, of course, also search. For example, let's say that I want to add PayPal. I search for PayPal and I see that, in fact, there is a free integration, a free 
uh, extension for people. So I can add it to my app among the sections. So now that you know also our extension store, you are basically ready to get started and create your own app. And in case you do it right away and you have questions, you have doubts, no worries. Our back office is full of information and full of resources to use in order you to have all the answers to your questions. Let me show you. Let's go back to the dashboard here and here we find again our get started menu. By clicking on the get started menu, I don't know if you noticed it or earlier, but here we have our help center. And by clicking on the help center, you have access to uh, all our resources. First of all, you find here the online help, which is basically a library with all the instructions step by step to create your app. It's uh, organized in uh, different sections, different topics. And of course, if you don't find what you are looking for, you can always search it here and you will find the answers to your questions. For example, yeah, let's see, uh, subscription and billing. Here you have uh, uh, information about the free trial and here you have all the information and all the steps. Let's go back to the help center and we have here the contact support. Basically, you can open a ticket and ask for support. As you can see here, the support is available in English, French, Spanish, Italian and Portuguese. So uh, you can write in the language that you prefer and you can choose the category. Let's say that we have problem with, for example, publication. So here we choose a subcategory publication of the web app. And here we continue and we can uh, write our message. We can add also uh, some attachments and send our tickets and our support of experts will reply as soon as possible and will give you uh, dedicated assistance. Then we also have our video tutorials if you prefer or our Good Barber Academy, uh, which is uh, also a collection of uh, courses, of advanced courses to uh, improve your expertise in different fields. We have the showcases with the best success stories of our clients and of course the blog full of articles, of inspiring articles uh, to boost uh, your creativity and to create your beautiful app. Well, this is all from my side. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope it was useful for you to get started by creating an app on Good Barber. Uh, of course, feel free to subscribe in order not to miss any other video we're going to publish. And if you have questions, you can always drop a comment under the video and we will be happy to uh, reply all your questions. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.